Cody. Nothing makes me smile more than thinking back. It's the beginning of our relationship. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Cody and Brittany. This is not the beginning of a new relationship, but an acknowledgement of the next chapter in their lives together. Brittany, my partner in crime. I never thought I would have to be a partner and I would rule the world alone forever <laughs> until one day I knew something was there. It was that one day as I was walking by your desk, you randomly asked me if I remembered the movie Xenon. <laughs> and I completed the full title of the movie, Girl of the 21st Century. And all you wanted to tell me was that it was turning 20 years old. A small, meaningless, trivial fact to most, but important enough for you to want to tell me. And for an unknown, but soon to be known reason that excited me. You have since found out that it took me a little bit longer to fully commit. But that was the foundation for where we are now. Since I was a little girl, I dreamed of a wedding. <laughs> I'm not running. <laughs> <laughs> and finding my prince charming. Well, you are so much more to me than any prince I could have ever imagined. When I first met Brittany, I was captaining a boat for her entire group of college friends. From the very first moment, she treated me like a friend it made me feel welcome to their little group of pure aquatic insanity. She left an impression on me, and I know that everyone here that knows her could tell a similar story. Cody's the type of guy you could call in a pinch. He'd drop everything he's doing and come and help you. He's always happy to hear from you, a joy to be around, and is never not laughing. Also, he's the only grown man I know who frequents Dave and Buster's and will go to an arcade with me. And as much as I love the two of them as individuals, it's clear to me, and I'm sure to all of you, that they're better together. perfect end to one chapter of my life and the perfect beginning to the next. I promise to always be there for you when the world seems like too much to handle. I will shelter you from the storms of life and be your biggest supporter after they pass. Kurt, I know you're ready for a Michelob, so I'm gonna get on with it. We're gonna land this plane. Do you, Brittany, take Cody to be your lawfully wedded husband? To have and to hold, in sickness and in health, in good times and bad, for richer or poorer, keeping yourself unto him for as long as you both shall live. I'm already sweating a lot. I do. That's good. <laughs> Buckle up, Buttercup. Therefore, there is only one thing left to do, and that is to say, by the authority vested in me, by the great state of Texas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Cody, you may kiss your bride. So people ask me, people being like two or three people, 
When did you know Cody was the right one for Brent? It was early on, maybe second or third date. The next day, as true best friends, we relayed every single detail. And Brittany says to me, Tay, he told me he would buy me chips, queso, and a margarita any night of the week. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't know guys like this existed. <laughs> about Brittany. You know, she's uh, my baby girl and uh, spoiled her entire life. When Brittany was little, she used to say, I have daddy wrapped around my little finger. And it was true. Well, the good thing is now, Cody, she's yours.